Yeah, you know, it's, it's funny because it's like week one, I kind of wish we, were, we didn't play each other week one every year. You know what I'm saying? That, like Dave said do? that too. It's like week one every year is Giants versus Cowboys. And y'all been getting the best of us for the past few years on week one too. Shit. All right, yeah. So with that being said, man, tell me your thoughts going into week one, Giants versus Cowboys. Like, how do you feel about the matchup? I, honestly, I'm not confident about it. I'm not. I'm not at all just because Zeke just came back. Yep. They yep. gave him that big contract. I was hoping he wasn't going to play, but, you know, that didn't happen. So he's playing. Um, and, and, you know, we don't have Odell anymore. We don't have Landon Collins anymore. We don't have Snacks Harrison anymore. Not Olivia Vernon. Even though he underperformed, he still was an asset to the team, and we don't have him anymore. So I don't know who's going to stop Zeke. Um, I, I'm really looking to see if someone could step up. Um, and then also, on the other end of the ball, the only asset we have really is Saquon. Yeah. Uh, Golden yeah. Tate is out with the suspension. Sterling Shepard's out. He's hurt. So right now, I'm looking at it like everybody's just going to pour in. Y'all got um, Jalen Smith. Y'all got Vander Esch, two of like the fastest linebackers in the league. So I'm just I'm, – I'm feeling a little shaky about this game. I mean, granted, y'all been getting the best of us for the, fast, uh, for the past few years, but the only thing I could hope for, you know, any given Sunday, anything could happen. Right. So I'm hoping – I'm hoping that one of, uh, one of the young guys steps up and starts making plays. That's the only thing we can hope for as Giants fans going into this Sunday. The only thing we can hope for, really. I look at it like this. I said this to Dane, who was on the episode – a little earlier, and I look at it like this, man. They're picking the Cowboys to be favorites by a touchdown or more. I think the Cowboys opened up as uh, minus seven favorites. They're calling for 45 as the over-under. So they're expecting a high-scoring game with the Cowboys winning by more than a touchdown. Whenever all that hype comes together, it's like I, I stay away from it. I'm a Cowboys fan, but I'm not a delusional Cowboys fan. I'm like, yo, they're saying we're going to win the Super Bowl. They're saying Dallas has finally got both sides of the ball. That's a recipe for disaster. Years Skip back, says that every year. Yeah. Skip Bayless. He picks the Cowboys every year. I mean, and, and, you know, Skip Gun, you know, he's a he's a Dallas guy. He gone pick Dallas, but go ahead. But like, yo, high scoring game. I don't know who who said that. Who said that it was gonna be ESPN I think NFL? The, the over under is set at forty five. So if, if the over Thanks. under is set at forty five, they're expecting a lot of points. I haven't looked at the gambling stuff yet. This episode I haven't really jumped into too much odds and spreads um i gotta look on sunday morning but when they're calling for 45 as the over under that means they're expecting points and i'm just looking at it like all right. who, 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 who on the giants well who on the giants can we say definitively is going to be putting up those points saquon's going to have all 11 guys on defense looking at him right um uh, and even y- y'all shut down corner smith like he's got food in front of him this week Man, and the I'm, defense, I'm, it's making me nervous. The defense, the defense is finally like grown up. This defense that the Cowboys have this year, I, I have so much faith in it. I watch these guys get drafted. I'll take them against anybody. They were already one of the best defenses in the, in the league last year. And then on the other hand, you got Saquon, who is the number one pick in fantasy. People are expecting him to rush for almost 2,000 yards this year. And you know the Giants going to run him and throw him the ball and – He's gonna to he's gonna be the offense. Yo, know, and, and you know it's gonna be the worst thing ever on the planet for y'all if y'all drop this game to the Giants. Oh, of course. Cause every analyst that I heard going into the season said, yo, this is probably gonna be the worst teams in the NFL. Bro, everyone is saying that the Giant no one has said the Giants have a shot. Everyone is saying the Cowboys are Super Bowl. Everybody's saying the Cowboys should win the NFC East. Man, I caution that hype because it's week one for everybody, right? It's the first week of the NFL. These guys have been practicing in pads, kind of hitting, but not really going full tilt. This is the first time everyone goes full go. And like you said, any given Sunday, anything can happen.